I'm Louise Nixon and I lead the Financial Services Business of Technology team. Hello, I'm Nathan McDonalds and I lead the Service Management Practice. And we're here today to discuss Deloitte's Tech Trends 2019. All of our Tech Trends are linked by what we have termed macro forces. These macro forces are broad patterns that encompass individual technologies and drive transformation. Some of these things are familiar and have been disrupting business models and impacting technology operations for over 10 years, such as cloud, analytics, and empowering digital experiences. Today, they have become fundamental components, not only of enterprise technology, but of the corporate strategy. However, most organizations are still very far from leveraging full potential of cloud, analytics, and digital. We also witness the expansion of newer forces, such as cognitive, blockchain, and digital reality which encompasses immersive technologies such as virtual reality, augmented reality and the Internet of Things. These more recent disruptors are driving the next big wave of transformational change. We believe these forces will be as big as the more mature forces Nathan mentioned. Finally, we have foundational forces that make it possible for organisations to innovate, utilise a new technology whilst maintaining and enhancing operational integrity. And those three foundational forces are modernising systems which support corporations, transforming the business of technology and developing cyber risk strategies. These are about the capabilities and practices that we have today and how we can get them ready to embrace new technological opportunities to improve business value. There is a need for organisations to adapt to change quickly, adopting an enterprise approach to agility to realise value faster and navigate through volatility. This requires a focus on business outcomes, people and adoption of value-focused delivery. To fully benefit from the opportunities offered by technology, many organisations will have to reimagine their business models, processes and transform not only their ways of working, but fundamentally their culture. Core to this is defining tangible business outcomes, the appropriate business metrics and then striving to improve flow, quality, safety and value delivered by transformations, and always asking the question, what could we do better? Talent models within organisations should reflect the hard technology, leadership and professional capabilities and skills needed to run the enterprise, and also enable latitude for creativity and personal development. Career paths that empower individuals and teams and support collaboration are required to facilitate this continuous improvement culture. And that culture part is key. Adapting any organisation to be able to better leverage the opportunities of these macro forces requires the right cultural change in an organisation. A key component to that needs to be how you foster an active dialogue, collaboration and joint accountability between technology teams and the business. This helps to better understand what a particular disruptor means, which business opportunity or problem it has the potential to solve, and enables the development of a clear case for change. In fact, we expect over the coming few years to see the business and technology teams begin to move closer together with decreasing lines of demarcation. Very few organisations are starting afresh here. Many are currently relying on cumbersome and rigid core systems. Given the complexity of the past and legacy estates, how can you architect to enhance and harness and exploit the digital innovation? In 2018, we talked about our vision for the new core which recognised the need for organisations to extend their digital transformations from the front office through into the heart of their business operations by transforming middle and back office core systems and information enterprises would have a better foundation for future customer face and innovation and growth initiatives for example take a traditional finance process being reimagined to include cognitive systems to disrupt anomalies in the data, RPA technology used to reduce processing time and data science tools to undertake scenario analysis. Today, with the increased maturity of microservices, APIs and cloud services, we see organisations refocusing initiatives to reimagine their legacy core systems, recognising that those who lead in this transformation have a chance to convert technical debt into technical equity. And it's that service orientated approach, leaning on microservices, that is key and being used by CIOs and CDOs to reimagine what they deliver in a way that the business really understands, it expresses delivery in business terms, in a way that can be more easily consumed to meet future business needs. One thing that we need to be aware of though, is how businesses can become increasingly digital, but still shield themselves from cyber attacks that are becoming more sophisticated, deliberate, 
and unrelenting in nature? The approach to cyber risk should be broadened. Cyber security should be the responsibility of the entire enterprise, not just a bolt-on or technical activity. Cyber risk strategies should be developed in partnership with technology and business owners. Just as digital, they must be managed from the ground up and embedded in the business mindset, strategy and policies, not only with technology, architecture and systems design. Every employee in an organisation is now exposed to cyber threats and have a role to play in protecting their organisation from the risks that come in. That's a pretty harsh reality, but one that I think will only continue to get more and more challenging in the coming years. Thank you very much for listening today. We hope this video has served as a short introduction to the macro forces which have influenced the Deloitte tech trends in 2019. Thanks very much. Goodbye. <laughs>